you know that one glass of milk has 25% of your daily recommended intake of riboflavin? So? So, if I had four glasses of milk, I'd have all the riboflavin I need for the rest of the day. Good. Proper nutrition is important. But if I had five glasses of milk, I'd have exceeded my daily recommended dose. So don't do that. Why not? Well, because it's not recommended. Says who? The milk people. See, what, who, what do the milk people know, Bill? Well, they know what riboflavin does. And if they say four glasses is all I need, well, that's good enough for me. Well, it's not good enough for me, Bill. Not good enough by half. Fine. We'll do an experiment. Thanks, Bill. Woo! Are you sure you want to do this? More sure than I've been about anything in my entire life. What about the time you thought you were invisible? You were pretty sure about that. Well, yes, Bill. Yes, I was. But I'm a man that lives in the now. All right, let's do this. One, two. Hello? Hello? Huh. Eleven twenty-three. Phone rings. <clears throat> kind of weird. How do you feel right now? Both, really. Weird sick or weird tingly? I don't think so. Is this conversation making sense right now? Maybe. Are you answering the questions I haven't even asked yet? <laughs> I said maybe. What? 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 <laughs> oh, tell me about it. This is going to make conversation very difficult. I don't know. What if I don't ask the question you've already answered? French Canadian bean soup. Phone? Hello? Sir, this is Causality Incorporated. Someone from your vicinity is radiating low-grade paradoxes at a hazardous rate. One of our agents will have to intercede on your timeline. What? The unchecked accumulation of paradox leads to poor quantum mechanics and other forms of dangerous temporal and frequencies. Causality Inc. appreciates your patronage and looks forward to meeting your space-time needs in the past, present, and future of your choice. Hmm. Closet. Did one of you guys drink a shitload of milk? Mm. Never mind. Whatever. Hop in. Both of you. So you're really a time traveler? 
Yep, yep. Awesome. You get dental with that? No, no, no. Bummer. It's not that bad. At least I get to pick my own hours. How much does it pay? Oh, it's strictly volunteer. Temporal environmentalism is a passion of mine. What do you do to pay your bills, then? I'm a space pirate. pirate. Awesome. Hey, how long does this uh, uh, closet machine, uh, how long does it take? Does it take? Well, they're already. I just thought it'd be nice to have a little chat. Yeah. Open the door. Wow. Okay, it's 11.21. In two minutes, you'll have OD'd on riboflavin, knocking your consciousness into a temporal frequency within your time frame. So when you refused to pose the question to which I answered French-Canadian bean soup, I must have induced a paradox that somehow effectively cut our timeline in some kind of causality loop. Exactly. How did you know that? Well, you were about to tell me. Wait a minute. If I hear one more line of exposition, my head is going to cave in. What are we doing here? Yes, someone from your company keeps calling me and hanging up. I'm... Hello, can I help you? I'm trying to conduct an experiment, and I'm constantly being interrupted. Where did that clipboard come from? I forgot the clipboard. What? Nothing. Causality Incorporated, thanks for your call. We look forward to meeting your time, space, needs in the past, present, and future of your choice. Bye-bye. Come on, dude. Let's go finish the experiment. Maybe you can answer me a question. Um, is space and time the same thing, or are they, in fact, two different phenomena? I mean, could you be a space pirate and a time pirate? Oh, I see what you're getting at. The answer is yes and no. It's convoluted and complicated. I can't really explain. We could walk a couple of miles and maybe get a, I don't know, a light tortillas? Is it a taco truck? As a matter of fact, it is a taco truck. Ah, oh, I love taco trucks. I know. Is it true after a certain part of the, when you get out of the galaxy into outer space that there's such a thing as dark energy and that the universe actually bubbles and doesn't expand in a uniform kind of rate? How did you know that? I've just always thought so. You're right. See, Bill? 